That's Corey and Kaden. Right, Corey and Kaden. Yeah, it is. What's up, family? It's none other than your boy Jay Giddens the father. As usual, remember to be. You want to say hi? You can come say hi. hi. As usual, remember hi. to be. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. It's your boy Jay Giddens the father. As usual, remember to be positive about the mystic and keep positive people in your circle as those three things are key to ensuring positivity in the right of the future. If you're watching this right now and your brain is telling you to click off this video real quick, this video is for you, right? The title of this video is Willful Ignorance, The Art of Deception. I guess this could be technically called a uh, lecture. For those who don't know the definition of lecture, it's just basically a, an exposition or a conversation about a specific topic. The topic today is willful ignorance. And I decided to do this because y'all may have seen I've been posting a lot of information in terms of like stories and things. And I'll put J, 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 J. You have to keep it, J, you have to keep it down or go upstairs, okay? For one second for me, okay? I've been posting a lot of stuff, and when I'm posting in the stories, I'll put willful ignorance. Or I'll comment and be like, you know, this is willful ignorance. But I want people to really understand, I want people to really understand what willful ignorance is, right? And what that means. <laughs> Y'all can look up the definition of it. There's books you can read on it. There's psychological classes that, that play into it. But, you know, I like to dumb things down because a lot of times they use all of these big words and these big concepts to lose people. But this is something that causes destruction in a lot of our lives, right? And I call it the art of this, uh, the art of self-deception, right? The reason I call it the art of self-deception is because the only person you fooling is yourself. The only person you deceiving is yourself. And you, you literally are trying to. Now, willful, here's an example of a willful ignorance. Peace and love to you, family. What's up, No Limit? What's up, Kid Prince? Here's an, here's an example, and one love to y'all. Here's an example of what willful ignorance is, right? Willful ignorance, an example of that would be not having a scale in your house or, or never getting on a scale, right? So let's say you're a person who is concerned about your weight and you feel like, you know, oh, man, I need to lose weight or whatever, you know. Not having a scale in your house and refusing to have a scale in your house, that's willful ignorance. You see, because what willful ignorance is, is your psyche or your brain attempting to defend itself from something that you have convinced yourself is a problem for you. And this typically happens once somebody um, runs into something that's going to cause accountability, right? So anytime that you realize maybe you might be proven wrong or maybe you may have to face that you were doing things that you could have done better, all those types of things, you know, and a lot of people who are willfully ignorant are people who are spoiled. And, and if you don't know what we mean by spoiled, right, when we say spoiled, we mean those kids that get everything they want, no matter what they, you know, no matter how ab absurd what they're asking for is, they get what they want, their parents baby them and let them have everything, never teach them, you know, um, that there are consequences for actions and things of that nature. Those people tend to be, what's up, um, what's up, Gita, what's up, Ron, the Planetarium, one love to everybody who came in here. This is a lecture on um, willful ignorance, the art of self-deception. I'm just explaining what that is and how that works, you know, um, because we deceive ourselves. So a lot of times this is because you are trying to avoid accountability. Some examples of it, like the example I gave earlier was not having a scale in your house. Um, you know, another example is like, you know, like say you got a lot of women um, out here who, have boyfriends or husbands that's sleeping with their daughters, you know what I'm saying, or touching their daughters, molesting their children, and willful ignorance will cause them will cause them to turn the TV up loud and shut the door at night because they know he out there doing that. You know, another example of willful ignorance would be, you know, um, it could be a, a husband and wife, and say the husband normally takes 20, 25 minutes to get home from work, but on this particular night he takes three hours to get home. So rather than asking him where he was and approaching him, the woman will just go to sleep and pretend she didn't know, you know, wake up the next day and just act like it never happened. Right. That's willful ignorance. <laughs> willful ignorance is clicking off of my video because you don't want to hear nothing. Right. Because here's the thing. There's a phrase that we all may be familiar with called if you knew better, it goes if you knew if you knew better, you do better. Right. Or if you know better, you do better. Right. The reason being is because. When something comes into your aura field, you have to respond to it, right? So here's, let me give you another example, right? Let's say you beefing with somebody and you want to kill them. You want to shoot up their house, right? So you on your way to shoot up their house, right? I'm going to shoot up their house, right? And somebody say to you, yo, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a whole room full of children in there and it's infant babies in there and it's pregnant women. They standing right by the front door. 
you don't want to hear that, you might be like, uh, whatever, 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 fuck that shit, and just shoot. Because if they tell you that, now you got to think about it. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to analyze your decision. You got to think, well, hold on, am I doing the right thing? Did I think about it? You know what I'm saying? And nobody, a lot of people, especially people who are, you know, a lot of, a lot of those people, they don't want to face any accountability. They don't want to ever have to think about their actions. They want to be willfully ignorant. They want to just do whatever they want to do and not think about it. You know what I mean? So what I would recommend that people do is self-analyze, self, do some self-analytical um, thinking or some self-analyzing, you know, some self-evaluation and just try to think about what things do you avoid, right? Because when you try to, like, for instance, you know, when I was going through, um, let me not listen. What I'm gonna just say is just just consider. Like for instance, a lot of people a lot of people display willful ignorance with me. Like for instance, my hair. Look at my hair, my ether. Right? It look a mess. Right? I mean, it of course it don't look a mess. It's natural. I look like what we supposed to look like. It's everybody else who look weird. But what I'm saying it will look different or who have adapted or, or adopted um, practices that are not their own. But what I'm saying is because of this, people would click off. That's willful ignorance because if if you look at me. And you hear me say something that makes sense to you that you learn from. Now, this will cause an issue with the part of your brain that perceives that you can't learn something from somebody who looks like me. So what happens is it causes a problem in your mind. I mean, when you're not when you have not grown and matured to a level where you can accept accountability and accept responsibility for your actions, what happens is it, it, it puts you in a position where you feel lesser than, you know what I'm saying? Um, and everything... Hmm? Look at her, yeah. But you made, you made it what? You made it in the kitchen? We're going to have a brief intermission, y'all. Peace to you, I'm Divine Warrior. Do push-ups, do push-ups. Show them push-ups, G. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. This is what your child should be doing right here. This is what your child should be doing right here. This is my two-year-old daughter. You hear me? This is my two-year-old daughter. I can't get grown men to get down and do push-ups. She get down and do 20 of them. 20 of them. I just got finished doing 300. You already know how I get down, but we ain't, we ain't talking about me. But but anyway, let's get back to willful ignorance. You know, um, at the end of the day, you know, it's like we have to really be able to perceive our own ignorance because we do these things too. You know, nobody's above anything. You know what I'm saying? The laws of the, the laws of the universe, right? The hermetic laws. If y'all are familiar with those, I would recommend that you look those up. Um, the hermetic laws and the, the the laws of the universe state specifically that nobody is above anything. If y'all familiar with what a pendulum is, right? That's the law of polarity. If you're familiar with the laws of polarity, um, laws of manifestation and such. The laws of polarity is where the yin, yin and yang symbol came from. Asians actually stole that from our ancestors, right? So you just want to be, you just want to, if you don't know who you are and who your history is and what your history is, then you're forever going to be lost, right? And yeah, so so like I said, you know, the reason I wanted to talk about this was because, like I said, I, I got a lot of people that I can I can see the willful ignorance pouring out of them. Like they, they literally, and the thing is you can't defend yourself against something you do not know exists. I don't give up on people. You know what I mean? I may, I may stop trying, you know, but I don't give up on people or believe that someone is beyond, um, reproach or, 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 or ascension. You know what I'm saying? Because what has to happen is you have to just understand something in order to overstand it. Right, you know what I'm saying, so that you can become above it, and it can't. G, G, G. Uh, uh-uh, don't do that, okay? So that it can't affect you any longer. So, so what happens is my goal is to expose this information to people. Now, here's where the here's where the catch twenty two comes in, right? The catch twenty two comes in where most of the people who this live is for, where I'm discussing willful ignorance and helping your own psyche be able to analyze and pick this up. Most of those people are not gonna watch this live. Right. Because people who are willfully ignorant, like I stated before, seeing me with my hair, with my ether. Right. That's what this is. With my hair like this, looking like I look, I don't have a degree. I'm not some smart guy with a suit. That alone is going to make them click off, because if they do learn something from me at that point, their willful ignorance will be violated because now they can't be ignorant to the fact that they can learn something from anybody anymore. 
This is the same reason why somebody wouldn't stop and talk to somebody homeless, right? Because if you talk to these homeless people and you see that they are real people, like they cooler than regular people and like there's nothing wrong with these people. Now that conflicts with the ideology that you have adopted from those who are not of you, right? So so what ends up happening is you, you run from it, right? So you would never talk to somebody, you know, and they teach you this. Y'all remember on Sesame Street when ask you know, Oscar the Grouch when um like all right, let me just let me just say on through TV and through programming, willful ignorance is taught to you, right? Because because of the fact that your free will is being violated. Because one of the laws, one of the hermetic laws, G, G, one of the hermetic laws, right, is the law of gestation, right? The law of gestation refers to the fact that everything has a process. Everything has to go through a process for it to take place. Hence, digesting, right? The law of gestation is a universal law. So it don't matter what you think about it. It don't matter what the Europeans think about it, what the reptilians think about it, what the Arcturians think about it, what the Pleiadians think about it, what the Greys think about it. It don't matter what none of them think about it because this is a natural law that is amongst the universe, right? This is also why certain information is available to you, right? Did y'all know that the first slave ship was, was named Jesus? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But what I'm saying is that's a piece of information that someone who is religious would willfully ignore, right? <clears throat> I want y'all to seriously look up willful ignorance. Read books on it. There's psychological books you can read on it. Um, you know, and I'm saying this just because there's some people who can't they can't absorb information from me. You know what I mean? They can't absorb any information from me because I don't look like what they've been taught through the education system, right? Look up the etymology of education. Education means to breathe, to create. You know, to create a group of people, right? So when they're educating you, they're creating a new generational breed of beings who won't ask questions. So everybody has been educated to not perceive information from me. So, you know, you got to understand school is not about teaching you. That's the last thing you're going to do in school is learn. What school is about is programming you and indoctrinating you into a process of learning so that you are like, hey, I'm not going to that guy because he didn't did it, get a degree from that guy. Like, for instance, let me give you an example. How many people know that a black a black man, and we're not black, by the way. I'm just using this jade. jade. I'm just using this word because most people are um, familiar with it, right? But how many people know that a black, a black uh, person created the internet, right? Right. So a black guy could created the internet. However, a Russian and a German, right? Because if you look it up right now, you can Google who created the internet. What they're gonna do because they real slick. What they're gonna do is say, blah blah blah, Russian guy, blah blah blah, German guy is accredited with the creation of the internet, right? But if you do a little bit more research, and for anybody who want to know, I'll do a lecture on it or I'll tell you about it. I'll, I'll let you know what it is. But if anybody who looks, at, I think his name is Anthony or Anthony or something with the A. I, I forget what it is, but. Um, he's he's from uh, South Africa. He created the internet, and what happened was, they took it from him and removed him, and then credited it to them, like they've done with everything you can imagine that exists, everything that was done with. And then what they do, right? He was speaking out about it. He was speak. I'm tying this into willful ignorance in a second. He was speaking out about it, right? About how he created the internet. You know, if anybody who listen, I went to school. And took a course called PCST, right, at Univer at um, Lincoln Tech Institute, LTI in Columbia, Maryland. I took a course called PCST, which is Personal Computer Support Technician, where I study Network Plus, I study application software, hardware, all that good stuff, right? So I'm just saying that to y'all so you don't think like I'm just some stupid nigga that be talking. Like, at the end of the day, a lot of people don't understand I'm a wealth of knowledge, and I don't just say shit to say it. But anyway, so there's something called TCPIP, right, which is Transfer Commission Protocol, Internet Protocol is what it means, right? He created the standards for that. He created the internet protocols. What they did was they removed him. And then he started talking out about it, right? Once he started talking out about it, they created a commission. They created like a like a board whose job and title is solely to determine the validity of someone's technological creation. So, so what does this do, right? This makes it so that in order for him... To be able to have validity or credence to his statement that he created the internet, that group has to approve him. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? That's like, so, so what happened is they oust him and said he's a liar. 
he's still working. He's st- he's actually still working in computer um in computer um engineering. So he he actually um I forget what he does. Y'all can look him up. I don't care because at the end of the day, he's also a little bit. He's a sellout. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really care. And it's not really that he's yeah he's a sellout. Um, but at the end of the day, it's not about him. It's about the concept. I just want you to see. So when you have these boards, right? When you have things like Stop. When you have things like um, board set up and like the apple, apple. Um, hold on, one, hold on one second. Let me finish this point, and I'm gonna I'm gonna cut your apple, okay? When you have board set up, or you have like um, groups and teams of members who have to approve something, right? Who have to certify something, right? Anytime you have to get like a certification or some sort of a, a license or some sort of a um, what are these words? A degree? You know, you know they create words, these falsified words that's supposed to give you some sort of value to you, whatever. I don't give a shit about that stuff. But what I'm saying is anytime something like that is created, that is called checks and balances, right? What that does, it's not because they literally need a commission to say, okay, this is, like, let's say, all right, for instance, there was a person who, y'all, y'all heard about the, the shooting in that, that uh, mall in New York, in that shopping market in New York, right? So in New York, there was a guy, he was under MK Archer and they made him do that, but we're not going to go into that. What I'm just saying is, there was a guy who went to that market and he shot all of the black people in it, right? He avoided the white people and shot the black people. Mind you, they showed you footage of this, they showed you pic, they showed you everything. Because anytime, again, that Medea, or media, right, based on the Greek goddess Medea, anytime they're trying to push something to you or show you something, there's an agenda behind that. But let me just say this. That guy went in there and killed all of those black people in the supermarket. Look it up in New York, okay? The first person he killed when he went in there was an ex-police officer who had an invention that made cars run on water, right? Now, in his case, they were able to silence him because he did now. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, they got rid of him. So that's what that cover-up was. That cover-up was to pretend like, oh, he went in this market and killed all these black people. But really, he was coming to take him out because he had to go. He was a problem, right? Now, if they were not able to take him out, right? Let's say they was not able to take him out. You know what all they would have had to do was create a board or a commission of people whose job is to determine the validity of someone who creates an automobile, right? So you know what I, you know what would have happened? The UN. See, see how you can predict they shit. There's a there's listen. There's a formulaic process to conquering and dividing and ruling, right? So if he would have, let's say there would have been too many people for them to kill off, or too many people knew about it, what they would have did was created something called the um, AAF. And you know what that would have stood for? The Automobile Approving Foundation, right? And this would have been a bunch of people who went to where? College, right? And what these people would have did is when he tried to come out with an automobile that runs on water, guess who would have been on his ass? The AAF. Now, the AAF, which I just made up, but there's several versions of that. There's the FDA, right? What's the FDA for, right? Y'all can look this up. Somebody came out with something that cured cancer. There was a guy, he was a, um, what is that group of Mormon, not Mormons, what's that group of people, they are polygamous and they, they don't register with the, they're not a part of the country or none of that, they Amish, he was Amish. He came out with a food that cured cancer and tumors. I think it was called Tumor Gone. Actually, it was like, it was called Tumor Gone or something like that. He came out with that and it was curing people. Guess who got on his ass? The FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, right? And guess what they said? Oh, this hasn't been approved. This hasn't been approved by the FDA. So he's going to be arrested if he sells this because it's violating our law. You see what I'm saying? See, and this is where when you think that the law is about helping people, you have been fooled, right? If you think that law, listen. If somebody, Jay, what's your doing? If somebody, if somebody come into your house, right, let's say you got a big house, big mansion, it's 50 of your family members in there. If somebody come in there and kill off all of your family and then take the kids and enslave them in that house, 
You think they gonna let you run the house again? Like, what? I, I just, th- this is the thing that trips me out. Like, when people be, oh no, we gotta follow the law. We gotta make sure we listen. <laughs> law is an illusion. That's the first. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Law is an illusion. It only exists. And I listen. Let me say one thing to my to my homie. I got a homie in here. Um, peace to you, God is to um Chanel. She already know what's up. Don't take none of it. You know what I'm saying? You, you know we here. All right. Don't take none of what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so I'm just saying like. Law is an illusion. Law was created to give you the illusion that you have a choice, right? It's the same thing as politics, right? For those who don't know about politics, you need to look at the carrot and the stick. I did a whole, I did a whole lecture on that. You know what I'm saying? You can look at. <laughs> she said, "I take that. All right, all right, that's cool, good, don't." You know, so because because we all have our job and we all have our missions right so so and I'm not going to expose that cuz you know they watching this like they watch all our lives they watch all of the lives of those who are a threat i am a threat i have too much knowledge and wisdom to partake on my people for me to be not a threat you know what i'm saying for me to not be a threat i had to be sitting on here with a gun on live talking about yeah i'm guessing yeah yeah then i'm not a threat then they don't give a shit you know what i'm saying I had to be bumping Cardi B or some one of these dumbass entertainment artists that they use to kill off our people. I would have to be bumping them. Yeah, then I wouldn't be a threat. But because I'm on here speaking real shit, yeah, I'm a threat. I'm a whole threat. They already know what's up. To the point where when I go live, it's birds that sit outside my window. But look, point of the matter is, what I'm saying is, you know, politics was there to give people the illusion that they have a choice. When at the end of the day, there are secret meetings that are held where this shit is already decided. It's already decided a year ahead of time what's going to take place. There's a national agenda. And then what people don't realize is what a state is to a country is what a country is to the UN. So so for you to think that the United States is controlling itself and the UN is not, that's like saying that the state of Maryland, which is where I'm at, so I'm going to just say that. That's like saying the state of Maryland can override the United States. Like, come on now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, that would be going up. It doesn't make any sense. There's a hierarchy to this. You know what I'm saying? She said, I have a gold study in law and I'm okay with possibly being a martyr. Ah! Peace and love to you. Yeah, I see that's a real one right there. But look, well, that's a real statement right there. Well, the concept that the statement is implying is a real one, you know? But, you know... What was I saying? Look at this. And if y'all think I'm lying, look at this. Y'all think I'm lying? Look at this. You see him? You see him? You see him? Y'all see him? You see him? There was no birds outside. There was no birds outside. Y'all see him? Perched up there. All around. You can't make this shit up. But look. So look. Um. Um. Like I said, we, we have to really, yeah, it's definitely a hierarchy. So, you know, the UN, you know, we really just need to be, oh, yeah, 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 pigeons are a thousand percent drones. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, and you know, what's the crazy thing, right? Here's the, here's the reason, here's the way you can know that, right? Bird's eye view, right? See, this phrase, bird's eye view, people think is just some, like, funny phrase. Like, oh, bird's eye view. But bird's eye view is an actual military term. That refers to the drones that they use for birds when they're in war, right? So when they're warring, when the military, and you can look this up, by the way, it's not like a secret. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is what, this is why I'm saying this ties into willful ignorance. Because when I say birds are not real, if people don't believe me, how many people going to look it up, though? You just going to be like, whatever, that nigga sound crazy. <laughs> Let me go finish listening to Jay-Z. <laughs> right? You're not going to look it up, though. But if I told you, yo, you know they just shot um 20 people in the head in California? That's all I got to say. And guess what? You're going to go run with that. You're going to go to Google. You're going to look it up. You're going to ask a friend. You're going you're gonna to go all around, right? But if I tell you birds are drones and they're not real and neither are squirrels, these were all created, what you going to do? Dismiss it and not look up a goddamn thing. And you know why? Because that's willful ignorance. Because... That will make you uncomfortable. It will make you uncomfortable. If I told you that a lot of the people around you are clones. These people are not real people. Especially when, you know, and you really got to watch yourself when you are around them. And when I say around them, I mean when you work in the corporate environment. For instance, I was working for Verizon for, for almost 10 years. Those who know, for 7 years. You know what I'm saying? So, those who know me, you know. But I was in the corporate world, right? I was around... I was around some big wigs. I was around people making six figures. I was around, you know what I'm saying? 
Look at them. They lined up, y'all. Look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Can't make this shit up. They lined up. See them lined up up there? See them lined up on top? There's never, there's never any right here. There's never, there's never any birds. There's never any birds right there until I, until I either go outside or I go live or I start talking to somebody. Like I go outside, I start talking and these pigeons pull up. But, but like I said, um, and you ain't never seen a baby pigeon. I wait. You ain't never seen a baby pigeon. <laughs> there's, there's videos of somebody. There was a video that one of the guys that I'm familiar with, um, he cut open one of the pigeons. He caught it and cut it open, right? You know the police locked him up the next day? They coincidentally pulled him over the next day and locked him up. They didn't even have a reason. They just locked him up. Now, you know, the reason they did that was to send a message to him. You see, because we know what's up. We know what's up. The chosen ones, we we know what's up. This whole universe is fake. All of this shit is fake. It's all a matrix. You know what I'm saying? I just uploaded a video earlier where they were showing you the people in the stands. They had the same people. See, because this is computer technology. This is all CGI. All of this is CGI. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's literally, it's, it's computer graphic technology. Even, listen, most people don't even know, even TVs, televisions, right? Before they were called televisions, they were called something else. Look that up. But TVs were weapons initially. They were weapons used during the World War, right? These weapons were used for MK Ultra and for programming because they understood what these retinas was, right? Yeah, Black Mirror. They understood what these retinas do and what happens when you perceive something, right? Yeah, the Truman Show on steroids, exactly. Yeah, the Truman Show ain't got shit on this, you know what I'm saying, on what's going on here because there's actual... See, the people in the Truman Show was all real. You know what I'm saying? On the Truman Show, those people was real. Now, granted, he didn't know he was in a show, but the people were real. In this world, these people are not real. Most of these people are not real. And most of these people are not even Jay. Jay. Stop. Most of these people are not even human. You know what I'm saying? Human. And we are not human either. We are not human. You know what the word hue means? H U E. You know what the word man means? You know what I'm saying? You look that look up the etymology, you look up what you know what I'm saying. We are not human. And study biochemistry, you will see we are not humans. Okay? And you'll see where they derive from, right? Which is the Caucasus, as we all know, right? Look up the Caucasus over there by Turkey, Armenia, you know what I'm saying? The Caucasus, the Caucasus Mountains run all through there, right? Look up the Hellenistic period. Look up um, you know, uh the ancient Greek Dark Ages, right? Look up you, you know, and you'll find out. Why we say the only people who are natural and indigenous people to this planet are Latinos and blacks, both of which are what we call misnomers, right? If you're familiar with a misnomer, right? A misnomer is a, uh, it's like a mislabeling of someone to cause confusion, right? So when you call people black and you call them Latino, you're just confusing them, right? Because Latin is a language. So how can a language be a people? That doesn't even make sense. Like, that doesn't make sense. Not to mention, Latin is a Roman language. Latin originated in Rome. Look it up. Latin is ancient Rome, right? You know how they say Latin is a love language, right? You know why they say Latin is a love language? Because it was the language used in Rome, right, by Romans. This is where the term romance comes from. <laughs> you see how they put this shit right in? They put it right in your face. Put it right in your face. But you got to study to know. And this is what I mean when I say willful ignorance. Because all of this stuff. I see. Look, say hi, son. Look, my son just got up. He pooping. I bet you he pooping. You pooping, ain't you? You pooping. You pooping. He like, daddy, get out of my face. I just got up. No, daddy, I poop. You poop. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, but anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's, um, like I said, it's willful ignorance to ignore these things. You know, think about just, like I said, think about that example that I gave. Look at these birds sitting right outside the window. These examples that I gave, or the example that I gave earlier where I said, if I was to make a statement right, an outlandish statement right now, and it was low vibrational, like, yo, did y'all um hear, uh, which one of these celebrities, man? You know, okay, let's say Takeoff, they just killed him, they're going to kill all the rest of them too. You know what I'm saying, they are, they are going to die. It's just a, a matter of uh, energy, because timing real, it's a matter of energy. I do not want to see my nephew poop out. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, if I was to say, yo, y'all know, um... You know, uh, take off, got shot. That's all I got to say. And you going to do the rest, right? If I say, yo, did y'all know 
that we are the original beings of this planet and they not from here. They came in through a portal from another planet. You ain't gonna do no research on that though. Niggas ain't gonna take off and do that though, right? They're gonna be like, well, what? how you know? They're gonna ask a bunch of questions. They're gonna want details. They're gonna wanna, well, they're gonna want more from you, right? This is willful ignorance, right? Because, but, but they won't want that type of detail if I said something else. If I said, yo, yo, you know, uh, Tony Braxton, uh, slept with, uh, Jennifer Lopez's boyfriend? I don't gotta say nothing else. Cause they gonna Google Tony Braxton slept with, they're gonna ask around, they're gonna go to YouTube, they're gonna look around. But when I say other stuff, Man, how I know you telling the truth? Well, how you know? You got all these questions, you know what I'm saying, that you won't go find out for yourself. So like I said, I just wanted to put a label on what's happening when those of us who are awakened and aware of what's taking place in this reality are trying to express and communicate it to others. That process of them avoiding it is called willful ignorance. And if you look up willful ignorance on Google or look it up on, you know, Wikipedia or look up in some of their books from these accredited people who have, what, degrees and certifications from these commissions and boards that were created to make you go to them instead of me, go look at what they say. Go look at what they say about willful ignorance and how it ties into your day-to-day life. Because when you are willfully ignorant, that's not something that's isolated to one thing. If you're willing to be willfully ignorant, you're willing to be that in other categories as well. If you're willing, like it's like an addiction. Like if you're willing to be addicted to something, then you're probably willing to be addicted to other things as well. And there's 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 a a full explanation of it. You know what I mean? A psychological explanation that these people who use these big words can give you that, that'll be convincing to you. I could tell you too, but at the end of the day, I don't want to make this all about specifically that. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to expose. Jay, what are you doing? <laughs> so, like I said, I just wanted to expose um, what that was, you know, and I and I wanted to share this share this video. I know a lot of people, you know, y'all have no idea how much this shit frustrates me. It frustrates me so much that I love y'all, man. All of the people in here, you know, we had we had like ten, you know, ten fifteen people in here at one point, and like everybody that's in here, y'all already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The people who don't know who what I'm talking about who need to see this, those people are going to click off because of their willful ignorance. So they're not going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to overstand. You want mushrooms? All right, give me, all right, give me one second. I know you asked me for Apple and I told you give me one second. That was like 10 minutes ago, but just hold off. All right. She ain't want none of this stuff until I until I went live. Before I went live, we just in here doing push ups. We in here chilling, you know what I'm saying? Talking. If you if you point to the sky right and ask my daughter what's those things up there, you know what she gonna tell you? Chemtrails. And she too. <laughs> Jay, what's chemtrails? Come come Delta. Right. Where look, look look watch this watch this. Where chemtrails at? Right there. No, really? I think yeah. All right, so look, one thing y'all got to know about children is when they get pressured or when they feel like a lot is on them, they, they just act silly. So when I first asked her, where's chemtrails? She said, chemtrails outside in the sky. But when I put the camera on her, I said, where's they at? She said, chemtrails right here. She know better. Look, and she's smiling. And she's smiling because she know, she know what she's doing. But I just want y'all to see, you know, like I said, I show this because I want to be an inspiration to people to be, to have more confidence in your children. You know, don't think that because they're young. Son, sissy said, do you want apple? <laughs> Look, she, she be coaching him. She like the little, she like the little big sister. But, um. I got to get them some apples and mushrooms and some alkaline food in a second, y'all. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump off here. But, like I said, I just wanted to say to y'all, make, don't don't ignore. See, to not, willful ignorance can also be. Ignore me. He ignored you? Ignore me. Already, nine Ethan. Hey, nine Ethan. Hey, nine Ethan. I'm going to talk to you later. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you later. Cause, <laughs> so, so, you know, like I said, um, well, you can also, so what I wanted to say was, right, you know, just, just also be aware that willful ignorance can also take place when you, you know, like try to pretend that you don't know, um, oh, uh, what's up? <laughs> oh, what's up, brother? Daryl, my man, how you feeling? How you been? I ain't seen you in a minute. I ain't seen you in a minute, Reflection. God, I appreciate you coming. I appreciate you coming into the live. And I appreciate you 
Look, hey, look let me show you the low ones because I know you know. Look, say, say hi, Daryl. Say hi, Daryl. Oh, he ain't, he look, he, look, he just wants something to eat. Both of them is looking at me like, can you get off this live and cut us up some apples like you told us 30 minutes ago? So I'm going to get off here in a second, but I just wanted to say to you, Daryl, one love to you, brother. I appreciate you coming in. Um, I did this live. If you want to watch it back, because I'm about to jump off and save it. If you want to watch it back, feel free to do so. I'm just speaking about willful ignorance. And I know a lot of times it's hard for some people to digest this information because, yeah, they're getting a little big. It's hard to digest this information because, you know, you may feel like somebody's trying to say that you're wrong or say that you are a bad person. You know what I mean? When it's like we have to one thing we have to get out of is taking things personal and feeling like, oh, you're a bad person because of something. What we have to understand is that all of us have been fooled and tricked. You know, all of us are, we've been lied to. We've been lied to. Jade and Gerald, Gerald and Gerald, keep it down for me, okay? We've been lied to since birth. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, it's not your fault if you're willfully ignorant. Your brain, your psyche has been trained to protect yourself. The same way you have an immune system, your cerebellum, your brain has an immune system as well. It's a psychological immune system and what it does is produce chemicals such as serotonin, dopamine, you know, it, it produces these chemicals to help influence your activity, right? So because since birth, you've been trained to think that certain pieces of information are bad for you, your brain will produce chemicals to make you avoid it, right? So people who are willfully ignorant are going to click off of this live as soon as they see the word willfully ignorant because their brain is going to see that and it's going to trigger something in them to make them run. It's no different than like if something's hot, your brain is going to trigger chemicals that make that operate your nervous system and send and send something that we have called pain receptors, right? And it's going to make it hurt. The reason it's doing that, this is this is the physical version of your immune system, right? It's going to make it hurt so that you'll pull your hand back, right? So if, if I'm doing a video and I say, look, let me talk to you about willful ignorance, which essentially is the art of self-deception because you're deceiving yourself because you're afraid of what you might. I'm not going to say why, but you're deceiving yourself. You know, the reason that, you know, so, so what I'm just saying is just be aware of that, you know, and point it out to other people, you know, point it out to other people, share this live. If it's anybody, you know, who could benefit from anything that I said, I really would appreciate that from everybody. I always say that, you know, share the live and everything. I don't want people to think that I'm asking to share the live because I want some kind of credit or notoriety or I want to be famous or something like that. I'm saying share the live because this information need to get out there because there's not people amongst us who speak on what I'm speaking on. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody's too busy for that. Don't nobody got time to be speaking on what I'm speaking on. You got to go to work. You got to go to school. You got to go to pick your kids up from daycare. You got to go. You know what I'm saying? You have busyness, right? Which is why they created business. Look up the etymology of business, Henry Ford, where it all came from. But at the end of the day, you know, um, the royals created that for the peasants so that they could be busy and they didn't know what the royals were doing. They, they just doing what they did back before, today, today. You know what I'm saying? This is what business is about. But I got time. You feel me? I got nothing but time and energy. To the point where y'all can tell me, hey, Jay, I want to know about this. Can you go look it up and do a lecture on it? And I'll go do it. Because when I wake up, that's what my job is. That's what my job is when I wake up. That's what my job is when I wake up. That's it. That's it. That's my whole job. That's it. I would clock in, nigga. I don't, you know what my clock in is? Go and go make these, go and go make these apples for them. Look, look, look. This is my clock in. Let me show y'all my work. Cause you know, y'all get to work. Some of y'all that work in car centers and stuff, you get to work. And then you like, oh, look, let me show y'all my job. And you show them, look what I do. I do this, blah, blah, blah. Let me show y'all my work. This is my work. This is my work right here. Here's my tool, right? My tool. Boom. My tool, right? Right? Boom. Right? My tool, right? You feel me? This, this is my job. So I got to go to work, y'all. All right? Send y'all send y'all positive vibe. And my job is to talk to them. My job is my job is to talk to them. Touch his head like this. Look, look, look. Let me show you something. Look at this. Come here, son. Look at this. I love you. Okay? I'm at work right now. This is work. You feel me? This is work. I love you, son. All right? Dad. Come here, Jay. You know daddy love you, right? I love you, okay? Yeah, this is yeah. this is work. You tell them that. And don't just say oh, I love you. Explain daddy. to them why you love them. Let them know. Let them know it's it's much deeper than that. By the way, I don't eat this shit. I just want y'all to know. Alright? <laughs> this shit'll kill you, okay? This shit'll kill you. I just want y'all to know that.
But but I cuz cuz for those who don't know, I don't ever want to be a bad influence on anybody. So I don't want people to see, I don't want people to think that I'm into things that I'm not into or that I support you doing things that I don't. So I'm just saying to you because you're going to see a lot of stuff sometimes when I'm on live and stuff like that. You know, I got cans of tuna fish. Well, that's actually for the for the cat. But um, there's certain things you might see, you know, and, and I want to make sure that it's clear because my, my living situation has changed. So I'm living amongst those who are not um familiar and tapped in with certain information, which is why I'm trying to help them. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know what happened. Everybody remember to be positive, be optimistic, keep positive people in your circle. If you get a chance, please make sure to check out some of my other lives. Uh, check out my go to that highlight. That says, and a lot of y'all probably seen them already, but if you haven't, go to that highlight that says lectures. Check out some of my lectures, man, and just, just, just give me a, just give me a second of your time, man. A second of your energy. That's all I ask. I know, listen, I know my hair don't look great. I know, I know it look what they taught you was nappy. I know it look a mess. I know I don't have a suit and tie on. I know I don't speak perfectly eloquently with the, uh, the perfect enunciation and pronunciation of this English language. I know I don't do all that, but like, Trust me when I say I got a little bit of intelligence up here. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got a little bit. And even if it's not about my intelligence, I have access to information that I can show you so that you can go. Because I don't want, first of all, when I'm saying watch it, I'm not saying listen to me talk and just be like, oh, he know what he's talking about. Cool. I'm saying take what I said and go run with it. Same way if I was to tell you, yo, you know 20 people got shot downtown. That's all I got to say to you. And you're going to do the rest by yourself. You're going to go to Google. You're going to go ask around. You're going to go tell people. You're going to do all of that, right? So why is it any different with this? Why is it any different when I tell you that birds are drones and they're not real? Why you can't go look that up and tell people and ask about You know what I'm saying? You know why? Willful ignorance. Remember to be positive, optimistic, keep positive people in your circle. Those three things are key to ensuring positivity is invited into your future. It's your boy Jay Gettins out, baby.